Anyhow, what's up everybody? Alright, we are in Singapore. We are on their metro station, which is one of the best metro stations you could ever ask for. Easily. Where are we going? Oh, Jerome. Okay. So, now you no longer need a metro card in Singapore. They have gone to a direct use of debit card. So, it's pretty awesome. Let's take this down. We probably missed it, but it's all good. I'm going to explain the metro in this video. Yes, masks are a big thing here still. That is really the only problem that you will have in Singapore. <clears throat> but, other than that, it's one of the easiest places to travel. So as you see here, there's like a map, right? So it's pretty, pretty easy to figure out like how you need to go somewhere. It's not an entirely difficult thing to figure out. You can take the bus, you can take the subway, and all you have to do is bust out Google Maps. Super easy. Also, double up as bunkers for if any kind of bombing happens or anything like that. So they are a bit larger than other subway stations that you'll see underground. Sometimes they can go four or five floors down, which I've never really pretty much seen until here. I've seen a few of those in mainland China, but really nowhere else. So kind of a practical and a smart idea to keep it that way, in my opinion. But as far as like mass, tra mass transportation goes, I think Singapore is easily one of the best, or if not the best. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep it going. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to, to like literally go somewhere. So like I said, we're getting off at Somerset. So we're at Doby right now. So after Doby finishes up, we'll be on Somerset. And then we'll take an exit via B on Somerset and we'll walk about 600 meters, which is about five minutes, eight minutes. And we'll be at Lowry's. Then we're gonna go to the garden, the indoor big garden thing. Then I'm gonna go back to Boat Keys and meet up with Router Guys, who's been a phenomenal resource of information. So, you know, you've seen me been making videos with Router Gods, right? Uh, he is not just like a Cisco dorky tech guy. He's about to go to Thailand, Vietnam, and a lot of Southeast Asia and do a lot of travel videos. So it would be in your interest to go subscribe to his channel, which is Router Gods. You can't miss him. 
super nice dude. He's been an uh, absolute resource of information here. It wouldn't have been nearly as easy or as good of a time if he wasn't here. So I highly recommend you guys check him out, man. Let's see here. So I always stand. You can do whatever you want. So we've got 10 minutes left on our current trip, which isn't bad at all. And as you can see, the, the Googles has figured out, you know, it can take and triangulate where you are and figure out like what stop you're at. So it's telling me I'm at Doby, and now it tells me it wants to get off at Somerset and it wants me to take exit B for the most, damn, he made it just in the nick of time too. Everybody's just skimming on through. So, like I said, the only problem here, I don't know if you would call it a problem, the only thing here that's different about a lot of other Southeast Asia is the mess. It's very, very, very serious here. Everyone has one on. I'm trying to get used to it, but it, it is a bit of an adjustment period, <clears throat> especially if you're coming from, like, America or, you know, even Vietnam. Subway takes about a dollar per trip, about a dollar fifty. They do have a subway card still, so if you're gonna live here, you would be keen to get the subway card because you're gonna get a bit of a discount, like ten to twenty percent discount compared to just using your debit card and tapping in it and like paying cash to go. So I have adopted a two-shirt system here. So I'm gonna walk around a lot tonight. So once I sweat through this undershirt, I'll take it off and then I'll put on the one. So now I'll show you like leaving, exiting, and then walking. This might be a big like go up station, I don't know. They're all different like on how far you go up. So as usual, there's a way out section. And to explain this, this goes down in like all major subway countries, MRT countries. To the right, you go fast. To the left, you're just standing. So if you're not in a hurry, you queue up on the left queue up on the left and you just stay in the left. Now if you want to walk up the stairs like these dudes are, you go to the right. And you don't want to mess up on that. You don't want to like pause in the middle and block somebody from getting out of the subway in a quick hurry because you never know who's going to be in any kind of type of hurry. And you don't want to be that person like blocking them from being in a hurry. So again, I'm just going to take out my debit card. I'm out. Debit card back in. Which exit did we need to get off on? I already forgot. Exit B. So right up here. It wants us to get off at exit B. Somerset. So Somerset. 313 Orchard Road. So as like if you've ever been in the Hong Kong or the Seoul or the Tokyo metro system, you've got 7-Elevens, you've got stuff like this, pretty much all over the place. We are in the midst of a national holiday, which I didn't know because I would have stayed to Wednesday instead of leaving tomorrow on the actual day of the national holiday. I can change the flight, but it's a hundred bucks and I've already shot a tremendous amount of content here like literally a tremendous so you know i feel that we can miss the the flying of the planes and the fireworks i don't think too many of you that watch my channel are looking for that type of information but what i want to shift to now is like you know there's been a couple of people that are like oh they're so far behind and opening up and stuff you know the only requirement to get into this to this place to singapore is that you just have to be vaccinated. Like that's literally it. Uh, vaccination, that's it. You upload it to this little program that takes like a minute and you're in, you're into the country. You know, there is no other restrictions. There's no COVID test. There's nothing. So, I mean, it's a phenomenal place. Like the shopping here is amazing. So if you want to buy some new clothes, some new electronics, some new shit, 
Most of Hong Kong's closed right now, and that's usually where people do it, in like this part of Asia. Come to Singapore. I mean, I'm telling you. I've had an amazing trip here. I, I put this in my like top, I don't even know. I put this in as a, a top, 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 top G area. Like look at the malls, they're, they're all crazy like this. So we gotta go out this way. So I mean, it's just, People everywhere, all ethnicity. You've got Japanese people here, Korean people here, mainland Chinese people here, Singaporean people here, Hong Kongers here, Americans here, Indians here. Like, literally, it is a cultural melting pot of people. And everybody, for the most part, is super, super nice. Like, I've had nothing but pretty phenomenal times here. We are not eating normie food today. I haven't eaten in like 25 hours. I'm gonna eat good. I'm gonna eat Lowry's. And the last one, we gotta walk about like eight minutes. We're going in the right direction. So like what I was trying to really explain is that like, you know, the mass transportation here makes it to where you don't need a car, you don't need a motorbike, you don't need anything. It is, if you're coming here for like a one week, two week vacation, it's phenomenal. They've got Universal Studios, they've got theme parks, they've got gardens, they've got safaris, they've got all kinds of stuff. Water parks, like it's just kind of like endless on what you wanna do and where you wanna go. So it's up to you on how you wanna do that. But I think it's pretty crazy that anyone would sleep on Singapore at this moment right now because there's literally no restrictions besides for being vaccinated. And I think on a whole, most of the people that watch my channel are probably vaccinated, so you're good to go. You have to have your last vaccination within 270 days of entrance. And you literally fill out a two minute form three days before you arrive and that's it. Like it is super, super easy and the walkability of this city is out of control. Like, <clears throat> I've walked 25,000 steps every day since I've been here, so like, I don't even know what that is, 12 miles, 14 miles? And you've got endless shopping, and they've got different fashion here, like the H&M here is a test run H&M, so they bring out clothes that no one else sees in the world, kinda here first, because Singapore is like super open and available to it. We're coming across like a bunch of high-end shopping stuff right now. We're in like one of the shopping sectors which are kind of like honestly everywhere. We're gonna arrive at 7.51. Is it inside this mall? I think I messed up somewhere. Got to cross the street right up here so I'm gonna have a a, a prime rib because I haven't had one in a long time and they actually have a Lowry's here so you know what I'm gonna do it that is one of the caveats to Singapore is yes it is expensive but is it madly expensive compared to America no it's on par with like pretty much the same type of pricing as America especially New York LA and you know even florida was very comparable on the price you weren't getting out of florida with a meal for two for less than i don't know 80 bucks 100 bucks you weren't getting out of the grocery shop for 100 bucks 150 bucks just for like a few days of groceries so when people try to go oh it's crazy expensive there because you know they're they're rich rich uh crazy rich asians and the stereotype that's like set upon here I don't think it's quite as accurate. If you're coming here and you're gonna work and you're gonna make a decent living, like over 10,000 Singaporean or 15,000 Singaporean a month, this place is awesome. I mean, just look at like Router Gods. He's been making some serious good money every month. He loved his life living here. You know, he's ready to start a new chapter, so that's what he's gonna do. And that's what he's entitled to do. Is it inside this mall? Oh yeah, it is, I see it, it's upstairs. Okay, perfection. I've eaten so clean here. 
I think like I've had ribs, I've had Shake Shack every day pretty much, and ribs, and the Hawker Market. And we're gonna do another Hawker Market tomorrow before I leave in the morning. I'm gonna get up early. The other awesome thing about here is it's, you know, extremely safe. Like, you're not gonna get into any theft, petty theft, any crimes. Like, I'm super stoked to be here. I've had a fantastic time. That's one of the buses right there. They're everywhere. The MRTs are everywhere. So don't sleep on Singapore. Come check her out. I promise you'll probably absolutely love it if you give it a chance. People were saying my Chinatown video was dead. It was during a weekday. What, what did you expect? like any place during the weekday. There's certainly plenty of people here. Did I enter the right area? So that is the subway. That is the metro system. Come try it out here. Gotta be a way to go somewhere. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Stay frosty. Peace out.